So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how students can use Google Drawing to demonstrate an understanding of any topic. In this case, I have an assignment where I want the students to label the different oceans. So a couple ways to create labels. One of my favorite ways, actually my favorite ways, just click the shape tool right here. Tons of different shapes. You should explore them, but I'm just going to use a regular rectangle. And right in here, students can then type that this is the Pacific Ocean. I can center my text by using this alignment tool. I can also center it vertically inside the box by clicking this or down at the bottom, but I prefer mine in the middle. These handles you can resize to make the label however the student wants. You can use the fill tool to color it very nicely. I prefer the gradients because those are pretty. But you can fill them with any color. You can change the color of your text by clicking on the text color tool. You can change the size of your text by clicking on the font size, but I want to make this a size 12 still so I can fit it. You can change the border weight, which allows to have a thicker, you can see if it was a 12 border, how thick that border could be. And I'll leave it as a 2. And I could even change the color of that border. Maybe I want it to be this dark blue here. Okay. One of the things I like to teach students is that you can copy this. Once you've got that setting, you don't have to go through that setting again. So on my computer, I'm going to hit Control-C. And then I'm going to hit Control-V, which will paste it. Control-C copies and Control-V paste. Now that's on a Windows machine. So right in here, we have the Atlantic Ocean and so forth. Now let's say that I want a text box that students will then need to explain what's going on. I could still use the shape tool. I could just click this text box, drag a box down here, and now a student can type as if it was any old document. This is an example of what students might type. Okay. This box could be as big as they want. And then once again, you can change the creative border around your box. You can fill it in as well. One of my favorite ways to fill is this transparency color as well. For example, I can do this custom down here. Pick a color and then make that color semi-transparent like this so that you can see what's behind it in the background might be a great way of doing something. Tons of extra tools to play with. Um, really enjoy it when a student is done. They would come up and click the share button. They could type in the teacher's name or their parents and I encourage sharing with their parents and I encourage sharing with their friends. Um, they can also, if they want to publish it, they can also download it as a picture. They can also, um, they can also publish it to the web to where they can actually create a link. And this link is what they would use on a website or a blog or something to that effect. One last thing before I let you go, just in case somebody wants to add a picture, they've got the insert picture tool. You click this button here. You can pull your pictures in from Drive, Google Photos, or your camera. You can upload them from your computer. My favorite one is search the web because Google's done a nice job trying to categorize pictures that are free and copy uh, that are copyright free. For example, dog, uh, let's go crazy dogs. Okay, if I want a crazy dog for some fun, I can get this ugly looking dog right here with his tongue hanging out. And I could use the handles again. 
and resize it a little bit. I can double click on the picture, which allows me to crop it, which brings these things in here like that. I can hit the format options and I can do all sorts of fun things here. I can make it a little, I can do a reflection. You can see now that the dog is reflected down here. Um, play at the distance, just have to have some fun. I can change the rotation of them a little bit. I can actually just change the angle like this. Um, decide where I want them, recolor it. You can have some little fun like that. Don't know why you would. You can do a drop shadow, which is also a little bit of fun. And then you can also make your picture a little bit transparent. So again, you can see the stuff in the background. This little circle tool, by the way, allows you to adjust the angle the way you want that way as well. Google Drawing is fantastic. I encourage students to learn it. You can do all sorts of great things with it.